Welcome back to Talking Footy. It wasn't it great to have Jesse Hogan in for that chat? He was uh, very refreshing. He was refreshing. He was up and about. He was up for a laugh and a chat about where Melbourne season's at as well. You were very unfair in putting the... <laughs> Just to know Alan Jagovic, who I... So, I would you like to sort of uh, rephrase living legend? Like, a, li- a living legend is I mean, Lee, that, Lee Matthews, Wayne Kevin Carey, Bartlett. No, no, Chidi, I'm not a of course no, That's not what you were saying in the ad break. I, I had <laughs> the great pleasure of sharing a locker next to Alan Jagovic as a very young man. And learn a lot <laughs> in a short space of time. Okay, time for overrated, underrated. And we start with you, Luke Darcy, and we start with Geelong's midfield. Duck gave them a nice old uh, torch at the start of the show. Overrated or underrated? Overrated at the moment. Uh, that amount of talent, 17 clearances, as Wayne Kerry told us. Uh, Centre clearances. Uh, Centre clearances. They uh, should be more often winning games than they are at the moment. Yeah, I don't think it's their superstars that are the problem. Dangerfield had 40, Ablett kicked three. Hang Those on. guys are getting the job done. Santa clearances? No, nah, they're getting the job done around the ground. It's their, it's player 15 to 17 that are letting the Cats down at the moment. So the midfield's underrated? I think it, they're going along absolutely beautifully. BT? It's, it's the midfield, isn't it? The midfield. Yeah, the midfield. It's midfield. What more could Dangerfield, Ablett, um, Duncan and those guys done on the weekend? Hmm. That was it's, superb. It's not the centre clearance. So I, I think they're Ooh. going OK as well around the ground. They're probably doing their job. In the middle, it's been hard for them. Yeah, centre clearances, so for me, as I said earlier, overrated. It's not so, centre clearances, though. Yeah, no, but midfield. you know what? You're, all, you're already on the... Yeah, well, the, the, well where, do, where, do. where do the midfield play? They, they're all in the centre clearances. Yeah. <laughs> so I just think they're better than where they're at. Right. Okay. By the way, they, they, you know, Selwood and Duncan didn't have their best games on the weekend. Danger was uh, very good, but... And Kelly was a little bit quiet. <laughs> but, they look, they're champions. We know they're champions, but right, right at the little minute... Overrated. Split the panel. Duck, we'll go back to you while you're running hot. Brisbane season, overrated or underrated? There's been a lot of positivity with the talk about Brisbane, but they've only won the four games. Yeah, underrated for me. Average losing margin at the Gabba is under three goals. Yeah, it's good, so it? for me, that is massive. They're big improvement, only the four wins, but they've been in a lot of games, especially at the Gabba. Okay. Won four games, been ultra competitive, got some bright young stars that are playing good football. And I reckon if you were a young guy coming through, you'd be happy to go and play with yep. the Brisbane Lions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Witherden, guys like uh, Witherden, Cutler and uh, some of these young guys, Hipwood, are, are going to be stars. I agree. OK, unanimous on the panel. Das, back to you. Fremantle's rebuild. Is it overrated or underrated? The first time that Ross Lyon in his coaching career really has uh, instigated a rebuild with a footy club. I'm going to say overrated for me so mm. far, and I say that because I don't look at Fremantle, not so much about wins and losses at the moment. I don't look and see genuine excitement in their list at this stage. I know they're going to the draft. Some really nice players. Andrew Brashaw is a very nice player, but I don't get really excited and I don't see in two or three years that talent group coming through the way I think you'd like it to. Yeah, they've got a bit of work to do, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I can talk on them. I've seen them only once this year. It would be uh, unfair of me to pass judgment. So I am uh, extracting myself on the phone. BT, unfortunately, they're not the rules. You're not allowed to omit <laughs> yourself from this segment, so you're going to have to answer one way. Lie. No, no, no. You've just got to make an educated <laughs> judgment on what you've seen. Well, when you're not sure... Always go the safe <laughs> path. <laughs> I'm actually going to say underrated. I, I think some of their best football this year has been very, very good. They have had, they have had big gaps where they've yep. played, you know, poorly at times. But I think they've shown enough. Very, very young group, as you said, rebuild. This is a completely different football club, and they've had some good players out of that side. So. I think underrated. I think they they could improve very quickly, Fremantle. I'm going to jump in here because I see on Sam's list that he had Dale Morris getting cheered off and wanted us to actually have an opinion whether that was no, no. potentially underrated no, no, or overrated. No, 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 no. That's, that's, so, not, that's not even that, vaguely funny because it's not true. <laughs> we are not going to go with that, That's Sam. not true. You We're just to... going to discuss Dale Morris and have a look at him Super being stuff. cheered off in his 250th game, which is one of the great moments. One of my favourite people ever in football. Ultimate warrior, isn't he? Just an incredible story. So when, when I watch Dale Morris play, Play, I think uh, he's a player that I would have hated to pl- uh, play on me. Yeah, UT. absolutely. I, and, and that's not bringing myself into the comfort. I just can tell that he is a warrior. Mm. So, it, Dust, will he, will, he go around, will, I, will he go around next year? Look, I think he will, and I hope he will. I, I love the conversation. We should be celebrating. Go, yeah. Let's barrack for him going on another year. No reason well, why. Why we'll, do we always want to farm them off and, and retire them? Nick who's farming, who's had, farming them off? No, we do as a general rule, the football community. Nick Rewald had a great uh, suggestion on this. In America, they barrack for another year. Can we get our champions to play? And we try and, as 
you said, try and cut them down at the end. Great uh, story, Dale Morris. Hey, now no, I just want to clarify this, Darcy, just want to, because that, none of what you said is true. Dale Morris is a champion of the game. I hope he plays on next year. He is an underrated player, and that's saying something about how good a player he's been. I just wanted to Pro, clarify pro, that. Protest a little too hard, Sam.